Hi, I'm Ali. I'm an Instagram editor and art consumer. Uh, let's get started. We're going to be doing a deep dive with the director and production companies behind your favorite music videos. So let's rewind a second. Where did music videos originate from? The first music video aired in 1981. MTV aired Video Killed the Radio Star by The Buggles. Let's just say I was born 23 years later, but I think my life has been changed ever since. I think the first music video I watched was Love Story by Taylor Swift. My first K-pop music video was Do 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 by Blackpink, which is directed by So Hyun Sung. He is behind every Blackpink set and worked on 21 videos early on. If you ask me, my favorite part of his direction is taking YG's money and creating awesome shit with it. But let's go opposite, an underdog of K-pop, Luna. Luna's whole videography except for Heejin Solo is directed by Digi Petty. Digi Petty has worked on Idol, Promise 9, Eyes 1, TXT, and Hyphen, Sunny, At Ease, IOI, Boa, Dreamcatcher, Lovelies, Oh My Girl, and InMix. Mentioning InMix in hindsight makes sense on the similarities they have with Digi Petty's other clients. I thought video production companies would be more broad scale, but when I looked into my favorite groups and videos, I found out so many of them were directed by the same person. Heejin's solo Vivid was directed by BM Project, which have directed pretty much half the industry. From Boasa to Blackpink to Sunmi to Espa, their camera work and creative direction is really distinct. Now that you've heard me ramble on about some of the behind the scenes, let's focus on one director, Salman Han. Salman Han started studying fine arts at 10 years old under the influence of his mother. He majored in fashion design and graphic design in university. While in college, he first produced advertisements for MTV and Mnet channels. His first project was Big Bang's love song music video in 2011. 60 million views for your debut as a director may seem pressuring, but he just got better at every single group and every single comeback. Now let's jump from 2011 to 2018. In 2018, Blackpink's Jenny made her solo debut with Solo, and now has 814 million views on YouTube. In 2021, Blackpink's Rosé made her solo debut with On The Ground. In less than 24 hours, the Salman Han directed video had 41.6 million views. It now is 267 million views. Next Salman Han directed video is the hit song ASAP by Stacey. One thing you will notice different about this direction is huge sets, when Solo and On the Ground were mostly outside. ASAP now is over 50 million views. Woogie Kim from the company Mother has directed the last two Stacey music videos, but I would like to see Salman Han collaborate with him again. Next is Jin Somi's last three music videos, which were all directed by Salman Han. Dum Dum is a girly high school concept and with Somi's charisma and styling makes with cool VFX leaves you with a fun atmosphere. Dum Dum now is over 125 million views. This video's camera work is really cool. Next is my favorite music video of 2021. XOXO from styling to setting to the car chase scene in vivid colors all really captured a music-esque feel. XOXO music video has over 88 million views. The last music video we're looking at is Anymore, which is a B-side from Somi's XOXO EP. The music video has over 33 million views and has a very winter heartbroken feel to it, especially because it was uploaded on Christmas. After going through a couple of Salman Han's music videos, I think you get the feel of his direction and his love for blowing shit up. If you want to see more videos like this, comment groups below that you would like to see me do deep dives on. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and the editing on this video. Um, I'm sorry if my voice is annoying. Thank you. <laughs>